right, somehow we found ourselves in Kit. That's right, the car from Knight Rider to celebrate 30 years of Knight Rider. The 30th anniversary, it's making us feel real old. Yeah. But Mattel has the Hot Wheels 30th edition. It's exclusively available at Comic-Con 2012. 40 bucks. They're selling it on the show floor. Yeah, this is an exact replica of the original Pontiac Trans Am that was driven by David Hasselhoff in this show. It's pretty amazing. Look at, I want you to see if you can get in here. Look at all the buttons. It's got buttons galore in here. They told us not to touch any of the buttons because we'll accidentally fire rockets <laughs> or an oil slick. So we have to be very sure. Also, must wear protective eyewear. We're here with the legendary David Hasselhoff, star of Knight Rider. Uh, we're at the Mattel booth celebrating the 30th anniversary of Knight Rider. What's it like being a part of such a timeless franchise? It's amazing, you know. Um, um, everybody grew up with it, and I've got so many Knight Rider stories from all over the world, from Zimbabwe to Pakistan to Thailand to everyone coming up saying it was part of their childhood Absolutely. and you know and and it's kind of like anti-reality sure. so all the kids now are, are discovering it and they're going wow this show is really good I'm going and you know we got bad reviews in the beginning <laughs> it was like it was about a car and a stud you know and it wouldn't last a year well it lasted 92 hours and now 30 years later you still see the people coming out for me it's um it's kind of like I got Knight Rider, I'm still Knight Rider. But but you know what? It's about one man can make a difference, and you can. For sure. And and you have to make a difference, like, and sound corny, but in your own life, to be happy. Right. So, you know, I'm happy. Not and and if I can did, and share it with the world, and this can bring happiness and show kids that there's more to life than, than reality, which really isn't real, right. and that they can come to the Comic-Con and fantasize and dream and, and, and get scared and live their life, my God, how great is that, you know? Absolutely. So it's cool. Yeah. Do you think uh, Knight Rider is a symbol of, of America? Like, you're Captain America, you're the epitome of America. Do you think, there's a, I know he's a German superstar, but do you think he encompasses n some sort of nationalism? Ha the Hoff is a symbol of America. He's a symbol of freedom. He's a timeless symbol. Yes, he is. He's. Uh, I honestly think that he's he's brought it. He's brought uh, the two of us together, Germany and America. Have you ever got to meet David Hasselhoff before? What was it like? What was it like seeing him for the first oh, time? Yeah, he, an he answered all my questions. He took the time. I actually got to spend like five, six minutes with him. I felt kind of bad for everybody online, but you got to know him a little bit. Yeah. Yes. I was surprised. Would you ask him? Oh, well, I just thought I was the number one fan. I was kind of starstruck, to be honest with yeah. you. I want to ask you, obviously, Kit is great as he is right now, but are there any technologies that you would like to add now if you could go back and sort of uh, make a new one? Well, I'm making a new one right now. I'm going to be 60 on Tuesday, and, and we're, we're building uh, my car. And my, kind of like the updated Kit car with the right. gold wings, and, you know, and it's connected only to... Uh, to me, mm -hmm. and so the only one that can drive this is connected to me because of a certain DNA, uh -huh. and so we're, we're taking it to a more of a technical level of the, that the only people that could drive Kit are the ones that are emotionally connected to it in some in some scientific way, right. and that um, that's what I'd like to do like to do in the film that you know it only recognizes you. If you have a heart, or if you're if you're if you're the white knight, if you're the right person. So if a person gets in there and it's got the wrong DNA, the car would, doesn't work. Let's say one day you have a child or something like that, and, and they ask to take the the car out of the box. What do you say to that? Um, I no longer have a child at that point. Wow, <laughs> wow. All right, so we're here with Greg. Um, you look empty-handed. I didn't see you sign a poster. You didn't you didn't get a Hot Wheels car or anything. What did you get signed by the Hawk? Oh, I got something much better than a poster. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Wow. Very nice. You must be the first person ever to get your chest signed by the Hoff. How did you respond to that? Oh, he looked pretty pleased about it. These kids who watch the show are seeing it happen. It brings, it brings us all kind of together because we were all kids. And when I was doing I was 28, I was basically a kid and, and was just like, wow, this is the future. And we saw the future, you know, and to see it actually come true and then to be real, it, it just shows that fantasy is really reality. Very cool. Yeah. There's so much advancement in technology, you know, in 30 years in automobile and in, in just the entire industry. You're a part of that. And, the, and uh, what does that mean to you? Well, you know, the guy who designed the car um, uh, and his, um, he 
he he everything he's put in here has yeah. now come true. Yeah. Japan just realized that they said it in the year 2020 they're going to have their own Knight Rider car. It's going to be driving itself. So we will be saying, take me home, kid. <laughs>